a very simple JavaScript and then HTML and CSS and then the Play JavaScript library. So we'll talk about this one. You can follow the screencast number 35 for those who are a little bit professionals and we use this technology then use this one. So this is for the another one for leaflets. You can follow the screencast number six at uh, two and the screencast number seven for the open layers and uh, the uh, two was the leaflet based technology. So this is Geo server. You can follow also. There is a lot of videos. How can you build the Geo server? services and how can you integrate those services into the into the your web application or your your, your html page is what you say it doesn't matter in the in the in the font and in the angular types keyboard react based it doesn't matter or java based you can just simply call it there is many many example i in, the, in my channels you can follow that one also so is this is the one example that i already show you i will talk about this one so screencast number 37 about the very simple a web GIS or web mapping programming with JavaScript, Open Layer, Google Maps API, and so on, so forth. This is the one of the layout for that one. So this is the layout I am talking about. You, it's, this is the presentation that I said. The forty-six number is screencast and the web GIS or web mapping programming with JavaScript, Liplet, and JS Maps uh, or graphs libraries. I mean third party other if the like. And like Mapbox JavaScript libraries or Yahoo JavaScript map libraries or Bitmap JavaScript libraries, depending which library you are using. But it is a common pictures that I am trying to derivate with you, but more focus with uh, with uh, with uh, JavaScript and then leaflet on R and and some some sort of graph libraries to to discuss with you. So if you see the application that I already show you, the UI and GUI UI top uh, top layout. You have some some uh, static content. You have uh, the animated pictures, and you have uh, some menu bars, and then links, and you have a pop up and maps, and then there's a graphical uh, graphical distribution, a graphical information, static information, and this is the dynamic information with the survey survey form. That's I already show you the survey form. If you fill the survey and and then automatically generate these graphs and then you see that your survey information into the maps or into the your web pages this is really most important uh, understanding you need to do and you have to understand the how it works the requirement the specification for your products or your, your application that's the most important you need to be learned or to be take over that's why every time when i make screencast for the new products or new services then I try to give it to you some theoretical background. How can you start? How can you do? And how how we will be the next step? That's the so on so forth. That's why I'm, I'm our teams. We are working together and build the, all the features that you need. The what the what we think about to share with you our ideas and concept and bring your idea and concept to the, our developments. That's that's I that's our concept or, or approach to to share and, and the, our ideas and knowledge with you. So you see that the, the graph layers, you see that the, some some graphical information. So you have to do the survey information. You plot it here, and then you then have the you have some 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 survey, and then it's a calculation. It presenting. You can print the maps and so on so forth. And this is the one of the other maps with the pop up that I already talk about. That's one. So this is I can now i can i can show you how the project structure how can we start and how can we do those things in step by step for the developments so so let's recap the the uh, this part we can we can minimize it and we can we can start the project structure that's a very simple project structure that's i already talk about that one so you can go this so this is the projects that I have it in the here very simple very simple HTML page and then you have some all informations uh, this is the one of the basic uh, the CSS class and then this is one of the basic HTML HTML files that are already open in the like, let's say it's open the notepad and so this is basic CSS and this is the basic HTML file that we already in the open the notepad and then we have some some very basic javascript library uh, to to communicate or to build our applications so that's why i said that if those some who has not little bit less experience about the javascript and then 
you can follow the 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 last for screencast number 45 there's a very beginner java script to the professional level screencast they follow that one first and come up this one because this is a little bit complex javascript functionalities you need to do as a professional when you are middle level or professional level developer uh, doesn't matter in the web font and developer with the geo functionality non geo functionality you need to understand the basic java javascript functionality that's i said there's a different series you can follow that one for the for that one so you have some very simple uh, simple uh, simple uh, css class that's we wrote for for our maps and, and our layout that's what we are talking about that one and there's a survey maps that's what we all talk we we need to talk about detail about that one which i will show you detail every step when i talking about the but i today i will try to give it to you really general overview how can you start how can we start the the specification requirements what how you can structure it how can build this application so and uh, let's let's okay then we have very simple html page and we have a very simple javascript function that's containing all the functionalities that i need that we need and uh, this is a little bit complex but i will show you detail for all the functionalities that's in there have it and simple simple html page css class the external css class the html page the survey form one survey for two survey form three and then so on so forth and we run the application if you see the run the application is running from that exactly same location of the application and this is the the i see this is the survey form that i will talking about you this i will fill it and then i will show you a little bit later how it works but in the programming part i will show a little bit more later when the when you get the really clear idea of what i am doing what we need to do and how we can do that one so it is pop-ups information so you see the maps and then other informations and so on so they don't click event you can click it and you can find your location maps and there's animation is here the application is very simple application is running so just you refresh little this change and then you can do is when you change something you save it and done it and then it works automatically that's i that's i mean so that's 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 the that's the idea what i i, I will talking about a little bit more about this one how can you build how can you do so let's 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 little bit talk about the, the survey forms the all functionalities that's i have it that's i already show you a little bit more this survey forms and then how it's done and then the static uh, graphical points and that is available in the in the in the in the javascript files that i already show you this is the javascript functions and how can you build the very simple graphs the static graphs and then dynamic graphs from the survey forms that's what i mean so this is the very two basic uh, basic javascript functions you can have static variables static values like that where the static value that you saw here the static values the 20 30, 11 56 12 and 100 this is 100 percent and this is the coming this data is coming from the from you from the from the survey forms and how it's come i will show you later this part of the the screen the screencast so so we got it like the which feature functionality that we need and then also the structure of the projects and we saw the the very basic functionalities and the features of the, our functionality that we need and let's see how the survey form works and i will show you a little bit more about that one so if you saw the i am running the 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 applications and then this is this very simple html page that's tag day one and uh, this is the tag means the Deutsche, Deutsche, Deutsche language that's when i program it like this way and the day two the html page and then uh, and then this is very simple html page that's the recorded the application is running and and do the survey work so it has a zoom in zoom out functionalities and it has a pop-up and it has a the animated uh, pic 